Hey, good morning, my friends. Let's get this weather party started. I'm meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here on MLive. Hey, thanks for joining me this morning. And uh, we've got a gorgeous stretch of weather coming. A little something for everybody. You know, maybe some of you have liked the taste of fall the last couple of days. Now we have what I'm calling a five degree warm up daily for a couple of days, <laughs> not obviously into oblivion, but we'll uh, look at five degrees warmer today, five degrees warmer on Thursday, five degrees warmer, a couple of degrees warmer on Friday, a couple of degrees warmer on Saturday and peak about Saturday, Sunday. And I'll let you know how long that sticks around. But before we get going, I got to say hi to some folks. Hey, good morning, Flint. And uh, good morning, Kathy Deese from Owasso. Thanks for joining us this morning. Tammy Bailey, good morning. And Amy Zettel, Greg Frost, good morning. So here we go. All right. Cool weather aloft at this time of the year can always make some interesting weather next to warm Great Lakes. So we are in water spout season. So kind of keep an interesting eye out for that. Uh, let's see, John Ellsworth camping in Elk Rapids next week. Weather going to be good? Um, yes, I would say fairly good. You're going to have a, a real summery stretch. We are in a storm pattern where you probably, if you're camping for a week, you might have one or two clumps of thunderstorms. You might get a little bit of cool down too. Hey, good morning, number 57, Larry Robinson. He's spotter number. 57. You should know him. He's my driver during uh, severe weather chases. Uh, so we have generally clear skies out there in most areas. And I, I wouldn't call it a clear day today, but uh, at least partly sunny skies will work there. I thought before we got into the weather, I'd show you how much rain we've had in the last couple of weeks. And you can see in the yellows, that's about uh, two inches or more. So there are a lot of places that have received uh, a useful rainfall in the last uh, two weeks, uh, you know, from uh, north side of Detroit through some areas of Detroit through the center part of the state up along the northeast shoreline. We call that the sunrise side. And uh, of course, the UP too, and other places just a little under two inches. So, hey, some pretty good rainfall. Now we get a chance to dry out. And let's look at, unfortunately, the, the model that does a great job. Well, hey, at least we have it, this model, and that is the European model. But why NOAA can't get together on, this, on our GFS and do a, a great model there, I have no idea. So here we go. Uh, today, I would say dry, uh, maybe, maybe an isolated shower, but it's nothing that I would even plan on if you were out somewhere anywhere. Hey, Karen Brzezinski, good morning to you. It is a beautiful day. And Chris Walt Wilson checking in from Kansas. April Bolton, good morning. So today, good weather. This is tomorrow. Man, fantastic. Remember, the black squiggly lines, that's the pressure gradient. The pressure gradient dictates how strong the wind will be. You don't even see a black squiggly line on Michigan tomorrow. In other words, very light winds. All right, so we go into Friday. Perfect again. <laughs> and tack on a few more degrees of warmth. And we go into Saturday. That looks phenomenal. Winds finally turned to the southwest a touch, least, a touch, so that will be a warmer, uh, a warmer type wind. And when's the next rain? Probably on Sunday, the way it looks right now. But we'll keep you updated on that. This this time of the year, that could change. That could back off into Sunday night or Monday. Uh, so we'll just uh, keep an eye on that. That moves through, and. Then another blast comes through on late Monday into Tuesday. And so the point being is it looks like the hot, um, the hot dome of air is going to try to come back toward us. And at the same time, we're going to be on the very edge of that. And when it does so, 
will get uh, scattered thunderstorms out of the mess. So you're going to have uh, very summery like weather. I thought the best way to show you as we transition and talking about temperatures, I thought the best way to show you is these are the temperature anomalies about 5,000 feet up. So you don't see the day-to-day -day fluctuation in there, okay? Um, and I, that's why I like to show you this. And when you see the greens and purples, that's cooler than normal weather. When you see the oranges and reds, warmer than normal weather. And obviously, we're cooler than normal right now. Normal, well, let's call it be an average of around 80 degrees, but going down now a degree every uh, three or four days. So this is into uh, Thursday, still in the 70s. I'll show you the exact numbers. And then as we get into Friday, we're about to normal or slightly above normal. And as we go into Saturday, we creep warmer than normal. And as we go into Sunday, we get more <laughs> warmer than normal, if I can say that. And then as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week, we get very warm to almost hot. And because of the track of storms, we could see those being knocked down, the heat being knocked down every two or three days, and then trying to come back at us. So the point being is we've had a cool down. We're going to jump back to warmer than normal, but not extreme, uh, what I would call hot, long-lasting hot weather. We might get a 90-degree day in there, but probably just one or maybe two in a row at most. Here's today, if you like low 70s, perfect day. What do you set your air conditioner on or your heat on? Probably something around 70, 72, right? Perfect day. Now tomorrow we're a couple of degrees warmer than on Friday. We're flirting with around 80 degrees. So Friday is definitely a summery day. Saturday, do you get to go north to the cabin um, or anywhere in play? Uh, you're looking at Let's call it 80 to 85 degrees. Let's call it 82 to 85 degrees. Uh, Sunday, depending on rain, when rain would come in, will be in mid 80s. And then by Monday, we're looking at upper 80s and Tuesday, mid to upper 80s. So the point being here is the trend is a few degrees warmer every day. And by the weekend, we settle back into a, a very summery pattern for, well, at that point, we got up almost call it, uh, well, let's still call it early August. How's that sound? Um, and we'll have some a warm stretch of weather. By the way, six to 10 day forecast is for warmer than normal temperatures. And the eight to 14 day forecast is for warmer than normal temperatures. So we've just had a little bit of a break from being warmer than normal. And I have to remind you that we have to go back to early May when we had a longer stretch of cooler than normal weather. Uh, let's see, Tia Maria wants to know, will it, will it stay warm into September? Warmer than average, but remember, because we're losing the sunshine, you know, we lose a degree of heat every about three days. So I, at that point, have to say warmer than normal because I don't know what your warm is. If you're talking mid 80s, it'll be tougher. Will we have some 80s in September? Probably if we have a warmer than normal pattern, but there'll be a lot of 70s too because the average high is going down. Uh, looking good for boaters. Yes, uh, boaters, this is a great forecast for you because it's a fairly light wind pattern. And you don't get to it. It's August. That means you're in about your last month of boating probably. So there you have it. Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. I just gave you the scoop on what's going on. I'll be writing about this gorgeous stretch of weather on M Live. Check for that. And uh, also, I'm going to write about the upwelling and the cold water and a visualization of how it comes up on Lake Michigan. A lot of you are amazed. You hear about the beach water being really warm. You head out the next day, the wind has shifted just a touch. It warm. What happened? And it could drop 25 degrees in uh, just a matter of actually of a few hours if the wind is just right. So I'm going to write about that. Kelly Terry, woohoo! She's still got the uh, pool going. Yeah, I would I would keep it going until we see a change, and I don't see a permanent change just yet. So keep that water clean and uh, keep the solar cover on it. That certainly helps a lot. And if you were set up, a, a solar heater does help some 
too, if you like the wa uh, water a little bit warmer. Hey, take care. Thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa, and thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update.